Hey everyone, in this lecture, we're gonna be solving this problem specifically. Find a counterexample to show that when A divides B and C divides D, it is not necessarily true that A plus C divides B plus D. This problem can be found in Dr. Chrisman's number theory textbook in Context Interactive, one point, uh, section 1.4, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check that out. With a lot of other binary operations, this sort of property holds, but it, apparently doesn't hold with the divides operation. So to see why that is, let's just pick some numbers for A, B, and C, and D. Keep in mind though, we have to satisfy the premise here, which means that A needs to divide B and C needs to divide C. C needs to divide D. So let's pick some values for A, B, C, and D. That satisfies the premise here. Let's pick A is two. B needs to be a multiple of two. So let's say six. C, let's make it a different number like three. And then D will make, keep in mind C divides D. We need to make D divisible by three. Let's say 12. So let's take a look at A plus C divides B plus D. Well, A plus C is five and B plus D is 18. And does five divide 18? No, it does not. Five divides 15, five divides 20, five does not divide 18. And we can also write this down as 18 equals three times five plus three. That's uh, how you solve this problem. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.